everybody was talking about homosexuality, uh, the homophobia of homosexuality, and our church began to talk about that, uh, that they would like to recognize that all people are God's people. And uh, we had several meetings, and there were some people that uh, said, well, we don't want to be a part of that, and there are others who said they thought it was a good thing to, to, to make sure that all people are inclusive in God's church. And the church did that, number one, by bringing me here, because I was the per only person of color you know, uh, here in Onamia, pastoring a church. So the church was already an inclusive church. And this effort to become a reconciling con congregation was addition, was an addition to what was church, what the church was doing for integration. How do you communicate that message in a way to uh, congregants that they can embrace? You said some people kind of pushed back, how do you communicate in a biblical sense that this is what God's will is? Yeah, uh, religion and race. I might mention that, religion and race. A religion has a lot to do with who people are, regardless to their race. And throughout the years, uh, African American people were, di were discriminated against in the church, the, the institutional churches. and. Uh, by my working with religion and race, I was able to help people to recognize that it doesn't matter what color you are, it doesn't matter what sexuality you are, God sees you the same as anyone else. It does not matter. We make distinctions, but God does not make a distinction. So, uh, with alcoholics or, or anyone else, the church is open to them. Now, I understand the national body, though, of the United Methodist Church still has not sanctified same-sex marriage. No, no, no. Uh, we have, uh, it has not. And that's one of the things that I think uh, the United Methodist Church has always been a social church. But right now, it cannot call itself a social church because they are against marriage of people of the same sex. So how do you, know. how do you, um, how do you reconcile such division within your faith? You do it in your heart, in your mind, with love and care. Then why do you think so many people who consider themselves devout and religious see just the opposite that God does not countenance this? Why do you think they say that? They're, they're, they don't have an open mind to what God really wants. They do not have an open mind to Christianity. My sense of living in the world is to have people recognize that this is an inclusive world where all people should be treated the same and should act out. They, they can act differently, but treated the same.